Are you building your next presentation for your company or business and need to effectively illustrate your points with charts and graphs? Have you ever wondered what's the difference between a chart and a graph? And when is it best to use one or the other? Well, we're glad you're here because that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. In this video, we'll talk about the difference between charts and graphs, when it's best to use a chart for your presentation and when it's better to use a graph for your presentation. After this video, you'll have a much better handle on how charts and graphs can enhance your next presentation. We'll be using the Orion presentation template to show examples of great charts and graphs. You can get this polished template from Envato Elements, which gives you unlimited downloads of presentation templates, photos, and more. Be sure to check out the Envato Tuts Plus channel and subscribe to learn more great tips. My name is Shamira Young, and I'm a photographer, artist, and small business owner with a passion for productivity and creativity. Let's get started. First, it's important to understand the difference between charts and graphs. Both terms are often used interchangeably, but they're actually not the same thing. So what is the difference between a chart and a graph? So first of all, what is a chart? A chart visually embodies the data you're presenting. There are various types of charts, and they give you the freedom to style your data in distinctive ways, depending on what best suits your information. They display comprehensive sets of information, including numbers. Here are some key benefits of using a chart. Number one, charts can show how data fits together. It's great for comparing portions to a whole. Number two, Charts also show how data relates to each other at a glance and allows you to compare them against each other. Number three, charts also offer great flexibility. They let you show statistics, proportions, and more. Now let's talk about when it's best to use a chart. They're great for flexibility and showing the big picture of your data. They come in various shapes, styles, and sizes. The types of charts you decide to use should reflect your specific goals for presenting your data effectively. Think about the overall picture you want your audience to take from your charts. So when do you use a chart? Let's take a look at some popular use cases for charts. We have bar charts, also known as column charts. These utilize rectangular bars and are handy for comparing variables against each other, as well as showing increasing or decreasing values. We also have pie charts. Pie charts are circular like a pie. They show how percentages of a data set compare to the whole. An example would be showing sources of company's income sources. And we also have line charts. Their main component is a line or various lines that connect data points. They're great for showing trends. Consider the story you want to tell. Once you've decided the type of chart you want to use from your template, you can start customizing it to your needs and data. Let's move on to graphs. So what is a graph? They actually have a more narrow definition and specifically they use data plotted on a grid. Although there are numerous types of graphs, they often use a grid representing various variables. They tend to focus on numbers to help you visualize your data. Graphs are perfect for numerical data, especially on a two axis grid. It's a great fit for demonstrating data such as growth rates or comparable details. Graphs tend to be easy to digest and simple to understand. Once you've labeled your axis, plotted your lines, and put down your data points, the information should be very straightforward for your audience. Graphs also demonstrate how variables interact with each other, such as with a two-axis graph. As you can see, it's key to choose the best visual tools to present your information. Charts and graphs are great ways to really help the data in your presentation shine. Now let's talk about when it's best to use a graph. Like I mentioned, graphs have a more narrow purpose, and there are various types of graphs to consider. Here are some examples of when it's best to use a graph. When your data has two variables, you can plot each variable on its own axis, one vertical and one horizontal. When you're tracking correlation, if you expect one variable to influence a change in another variable, or when you've got a large amount of data. A graph is great for illustrating large amounts of data in a form that is concise and easy to read. In this video, you learn the differences between charts and graphs and when it's best to use them. Think about how they can play a role in your next presentation. They're both great tools for the story you're trying to tell and can bring your next presentation up to the next level. 
Just a reminder that you can find the Orion presentation template we used, along with more great templates at Envato Elements. Subscribe to Envato Elements to access millions of creative assets and thousands of video courses and tutorials on Envato Tuts Plus. You can subscribe with the link in the description. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos from Envato.